This is the 25th lecture for MA1012 at University College Cork. In this lecture, we're going to look at solving some uh, systems of linear differential equations with non-constant coefficients. A particularly simple situation where we can do this is to think about a problem in which uh, the uh, there is no uh, no y term. So we have a differential equation which looks maybe like this. But there's no, there would usually be some r of x, y term. Suppose that one's gone. So maybe these aren't constant, the p and the q, but, um, but we don't have the y term. So how do we deal with that? Well, uh, there's no y's, there's only y primes and y prime primes. So what we can do is we can try to uh, set, let's let u equal y prime. Um, so then we'll solve uh, instead p of x u prime plus q of x u equals f of x. And that's an easier system to solve. Then once we have the solution for that, uh, then we simply uh, have to solve this one, uh, y prime equals u, or in other words, y equals integral u uh, dx. So if I can solve this equation, and then I can carry out this integral, then I'll get the general solution to this equation. Let's see it in an example. So we want to solve an equation which looks like um, x squared y prime prime plus 2x y prime equals 0. Now, in this situation, uh, we, we have non-constant coefficients, because that's not a constant, that's an x squared, and that's not a constant, it's a 2x. So we can't use our old techniques about constant coefficient equations, but uh, our auxiliary equation and that sort of thing. But we can use this technique here. We can say we'll let, uh, we'll let u equal y prime, or in other words, y equals integral u dx, and then plug that in here to x squared u prime plus 2x u equals 0. If you uh, notice the, the, the appearance of a chain rule here, or product rule here, you might see that that's just x squared u prime equals 0. We often look for that sort of trick to see uh, that a system it turns out to be expressible somehow in terms of something much simpler. So this means the derivative of x squared u is 0, so therefore x squared u is a constant. And so um, u must be a constant over x squared. And then a y has to be the integral of u. So the integral of, so a constant integral of dx over x squared. So that's x to the minus 2. So it's um, so some other constant times x to the minus 3, 1 over x cubed, plus some other constant of integration. I may have changed my, my constant here to a different constant here to absorb things in to make it a bit easier to write. Now we might still miss um, some kind of solution because maybe in the process of this I assumed that this was a non-zero constant when I divided. Is that true? No, I'm okay. All right, yeah. So I've got, that should give me the general solution. Okay, so, uh, so that should solve the, the, uh, the differential equation here. Okay, um, so that gives us an example of computing out with non-constant coefficients, but where there's no y uh, in the problem. We, when we have no y, we can set a new variable up to be u is y prime, or y is integral u, and then compute out a first-order equation for u, and if we're lucky, we can solve it. In general, these kind of problems usually lead to integrating factors. So let's look at some that have a bit more complicated structure to them, where we'll actually get an integrating factor. Uh, so. We'll take a, a simple example, 2y prime prime plus e to the x equals 3y prime, for instance. Now, um, again, there's no, no y in here, so we can treat this as 2u prime plus e to the x equals 3u, and then y is the integral of u dx. So that'll give us our solutions out of solving this guy. But how do we solve this one? If we rewrite it as um, u prime uh, dividing by 2 uh, plus e to the x over 2 is 3 over 2u, and then we move this over to this side and this over to this side, uh, we get u prime minus 3 halves 
of u is minus e to the x over 2. Uh, I think that's factor of 2. might be wrong in the, in the, in the lecture notes. Um, so, uh, okay, so let's try and figure out how we, how we solve this kind of problem. Now, we want an integrating factor, and for this kind of problem, we're expecting that our integrating factor should be something to do with about e to the something or other. Um, so, uh, so we remember that it should be e to the integral of minus 3 halves at dx is e to the minus 3x over 2. So we multiply both sides by the integrating factor, so we get e to the minus 3x over 2 times u prime minus 3 halves of e to the minus 3x over 2u equals, now we've got to take an e to the minus 3x and e to the plus 1x, so getting us minus a half of e to the uh, minus uh, x over 2. So we can see that, that again, this, this looks like uh, product rule computation, e to the minus 3x, uh, 3x over 2 um, uh, times u, all derivative. It gives us this guy here. Um, has to equal minus a half e to the minus x over 2. So you now can integrate both sides. e to the minus 3x over 2u has to be the integral of this guy, minus a half integral e to the minus x over 2 dx. So that should be minus a half, and then when you integrate an exponential, you get the same exponential, but you have to divide by the power, the um, uh, the rate inside there, and then plus some constant. Um, so this and this, I hope, cancel each other out, giving us e to the minus x over 2 plus a constant, and it has to be equal to this guy. And so if I've got it right, it's u is... Um, we have to multiply both sides by e to the 3x over 2. So, and then we've got an e to the minus x over 2, so it looks to me like it's e to the x plus a constant e to the minus 3x over 2. And then y has to be the integral of u dx. So we have a, another constant of integration from this integral here, plus e to the x e to the x, and then plus the previous constant of integration and then this guy, well, will be some constant multiple, so we can change the name of the constant, say, to capital C naught instead of C naught to absorb a constant integration, a constant from the, from the ex, or integrating the exponential, e to the minus 3x over 2. So something like that, I hope. Of course, th this, this example going back again, so this hopefully, if I've got it all right, is the solution of 2y prime prime plus e to the x equals 3y prime was our original problem. So this was the problem, and this apparently, if I've got it all right, is the solution, and I think the notes may have it wrong. Um, so, uh, so then uh, we, uh, we we could, we realize when looking at this equation again, though, that there actually were constant coefficients. There's a two here and a minus three, minus three if we put over the other side. So there actually were constant coefficients. So this was um, not really a problem that had to be solved using this fancy method. We could have used our previous methods for, for constant coefficient equations. So um, let's consider a, a similar example. Um, we'll take, um, we'll just take, uh, so uh, x squared minus 4 times y prime prime plus 2x times y prime is equal to 4 over x minus 2 all squared. So that's our differential equation. And then the question is to show that y equals 1 over x minus 2 is a particular solution. And then um, we can use that to solve, um, find the general solution. solution. So let's see how we do that. So we have to plug in this guy. And so we get, um, we write it as y is x minus 2 to the minus 1. And therefore y prime is minus x minus 2 to the minus 2. And y prime prime is the minus 2 times the minus gives us 2. 
x minus 2 to the minus 3. So we've got to take those functions and plug them in here. A um, bunch of algebra, not very exciting. So maybe I'll um, just uh, do a little bit of it. x minus 4 times y prime prime 2. And that's 1 over x minus 2 all cubed plus 2xy prime, which is this guy. So it's minus 1 over x minus 2 all squared. Uh, has to equal, and we have to ask if it equals, 4 over x minus 2 all squared. So I, I'll leave you to check um, to check the algebra there, uh, that that actually works. And uh, let's go on from there and work on the next part of the problem. So the associated homogeneous problem is x minus x squared minus 4 times y prime prime plus 2x y prime is 0. So see the homogeneous equation. Now again this don't, doesn't have uh, any y in it. It only involves y prime and y prime prime. So we'll write it as x squared minus 4u prime plus 2xu equals 0 and y is the integral of u dx. Um, so that'll give us our solution to this guy. So all we have to do is solve this problem here. You could use the method of integrating factors, or you might just notice that then you take the derivative of x squared, you get 2x, and the derivative of u is u prime. So this guy's derivative is this one, this guy's derivative is this one, and so it's x minus 2, uh, x squared minus 4, sorry, times u derivative. And the derivative hits the x squared minus 4, it gives you 2xu, and the derivative hits the u, you get this guy. So you could see hopefully right away that that actually um, through the, this is just a product rule um, so that makes it uh, possible to solve the problem without even having to worry about finding integrating factors um, and that has to equal zero and so x squared minus four times u has to be some constant and therefore u has to be that constant divided by x squared minus four and then y has to be the integral of u dx so it has to be this constant, integral of dx on x squared minus 4, plus a constant of integration, um, which I don't really need to write, I suppose, since I've got an indefinite integral sign there. Um, and I'll leave you to carry out the integral. Um, I won't worry about it and just say that it is, in fact, a constant um, times the natural log of x minus 2, absolute value x minus 2 on x plus 2. I won't... Uh, do the, the details, plus a constant of integration. Okay, so that's how we can use um, various different techniques. We've, In this case, we found a, a particular solution. We found the general solution, and there's more than one way to do it, but in this case, um, we found that it, because it didn't have a y, uh, a y and it only had um, y prime prime and y prime in it, uh, we could uh, write it as, in terms of a y um, prime is u, y is the integral of u, and then we get a differential equation of lower order. We solved it, and that gave us this guy as the solution, the general solution of the homogeneous problem. So putting that together with a particular solution, so that's for the homogeneous problem. Um, so uh, the general solution of the inhomogeneous problem, original inhomogeneous problem was x squared minus 4 y prime prime plus 2x or 2xy prime equals 4 over x minus 2 all squared is, the general solution is, um, y has to be, well, it was the particular solution that we had 1 over x minus 2 was the particular solution we were offered in the, in the, in the question. It, we got, we had to check that it was a solution. Okay, so we checked that solution and then plus this, the solution of the of the uh, associated homogeneous equation. So there's the general solution of our problem. In our next lecture, we'll study the method of variation of constants that enables us to solve an another collection of, of linear ordinary differential equations with non-constant coefficients.